Welcome to Live Edit. This video will give you a quick overview of Live Edit's features and setup. So let's get started. Live Edit is broken into four core programs, or what we call modules. There's Edit, Retouch, Archive, and Stock. Each module serves a unique purpose in your imaging workflow. We start with the Edit module. The edit module has many tools to help the team finish photo edits quickly. Adjust image colors to suit your creative vision with color, hide images that you would rather not share, and make selecting images easier with express view and compare. Once favorite images have been chosen by members of the team using their assigned rating icons, see how the selected images work together in layout. With the additional high-res download option, your users will be able to download the high-res images that you allow, and LiveEdit can invoice the high-res image purchaser, or they can pay using the additional credit card option. So once final selects have been made, copy or upload the images to the retouch module. Here, you and the team can mark up the images in order to direct how the retouching should proceed. The retouch module allows you to easily mark up and compare the progression of the retouching. The archive is your entire inventory of images at your fingertips. Track, store, keyword, insert your valuable retouched and selected images. The stock module is where you can sell or share your images. Choose images from your archive to be available for sale in stock. Stock users can search using your customized keywords, and with the download option, stock users will be able to download your high-res stock images if you allow. Admin is where you set up and administer your account. Here you can create users, customize your account and logo, monitor user activity, and much more. Navigating LiveEdit is easy. Just click on Admin, Edit, Retouch, Archive, or Stock at the top right of the page. This action will take you to the root or top level of that module. If you get lost, just click on Admin, Edit, Retouch, Archive, or Stock, and you'll start back at the top of that module. Notice the module you're in is highlighted in red, followed by the name of the page that you're on is highlighted in white. LiveEdit stores and organizes your data by clients, shoots, scenes, also known as shots, looks, or setups, and then finally by frames. Users such as ad agencies or schools can rename these levels to suit their needs. For instance, an ad agency might want to organize their LiveEdit account by photographers instead of clients, or schools could substitute students for clients. With Live Edit, you'll first upload low-res images, then you'll later associate your low-res images with your high-res images. Why? For speed. Today's photo shoots are so large it could take an entire week to upload all of your photos as high-res. By uploading the smaller low-res images first, your team will be editing colors and making selects within minutes. Before you load your low-res images into Live Edit, you will need to prep them. So to prep your images, use your favorite batch JPEG processing utility like Photoshop. Images must be JPEG file format, RGB color space, and under 2800 pixels in the longest dimension. We recommend uploading images that are 1200 pixels in the longest dimension in the sRGB color profile and maintain web convention file names. Make sure to separate each scene of images into a separate folder, very important. So now that you've prepped your images, you're almost ready to upload, but before you do, you need to create a client and a shoot. So to do that, start by logging in at the top of LiveEdit's homepage and click edit. Click the Add Client button. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be typing in Test Client as a client name, and then click Save. Click on the client you just made, click Add Shoot, type in Test Shoot and today's date, and then click the Save button. Click on the empty shoot, click on Load Scene, and you can trust the applet. Drag and drop your folders of JPEGs where indicated and make sure that you are not dropping nested folders. Then click send. So now your images are being uploaded to the server. Once they're on the server, you will automatically be taken to the next page where you can rename your scenes before you import them. Click the import button. Your images are now being resized and imported to the system. Next, you will automatically be taken to the edit gallery page where all of your images that you just uploaded will be displayed. Now you're ready to make a user who will be able to log in, view, and edit your images. 
To start, click Add User. Type in at least a username, password, and an email address. There are four types of users you can make. An admin user would be, for example, your trusted assistant. They can view all your images on LiveEdit, upload images, and administer your account. The public admin user can do everything the admin user can, but they are limited to one client, and they cannot administer your account. This user is best suited to allow a person outside of your company to be able to upload images to your account. A public user is like your client. They can view and rate the images, but can't administer or upload images to the account. And the last user is the stock user. They only have access to the stock module. All the users have other permissions you can tailor in this area as well. We'll start by demonstrating how to make a public user. Choose public from the kind drop-down menu. Select the client and the shoot you would like the public user to access and then click save. To test the login for the public user you just made, first click out at the top right corner. Now type in the public user's login information to experience LiveEdit as they do. You can always reassign your user to a new shoot. Log back in with your own login and click admin at the top. Click the big users tab. Then click on the name of the user. Change to another client if you have one and click save. To find out more on how to use all these features of LiveEdit or see this video again, click the question mark icon at the top of the page or help at the bottom of the page. And you can always email support with any questions that you might have. Have fun and enjoy.